recording. Hey guys, we're back! I just talked to stream and we are going to find all of the uh, Pinewood shops while we're here in town. Okay, so we have the Lazy Profiteer here. We've already talked to him. Now we gotta go talk to the researcher's wife. That's the Bujabin lady. Like I said, they're all in the same area, so I don't know why I missed this one. I think the researcher's wife was over here. It's a dangerous ship. Yeah, McRodge, how are you doing? You got any plans for the long weekend? I get to work. My good husband works at the Dracula Laboratory. He works on something so secret you can't tell me. Alright, okay. Do you think perhaps that this card might be one of these gambits? In truth, I find it quite unsettling and was contemplating getting rid of it. Yet, it was a gift from my husband. I suppose I shouldn't just give, couldn't just give it away. I'm not even sure what it truly is. I'll thank you for your story. However, here, a chop. May it serve you good in his stead. Okay. We did that. We did a good brother. Okay, we need the tarot seller here. There we go. And we're gonna talk to the novelist over here. A fortune teller, that seats only misfortune? Why, of course! I cannot write that what I don't know. After all, my life has been such a happy one. I have a mind to visit this reader of the cards and see what tragedy lies in store for me. My thanks to you. A chop for your advice. Also, uh, McCrunchy, you didn't happen to get a blue box in the mail, did you? Okay. I didn't. But, yeah, I was like, when the heck is conference day? Alright, we're looking for athletic woman. Faded star, next researcher, aspiring starlet. You got all your weeklies done last week? I may not look it, but I'm quite athletic, you know. My family boasts a grand line of gamesmen. Known for our skill at work as well as the games. That said, my brother's overly fond of dusty old tomes. He says most of his time with his nose in one. Why? Do you know what he told me? He said, good sister, on the morrow I shall go to the laboratory and become a researcher. He's become as stiff and sedentary as... as a researcher! Sometimes... When the need calls for it... You know, it makes sense, right? My sister seems overly concerned with my health. She should know I get proper exercise, at least an hour daily, in the games room at the library. Or at laboratory. Unusual for a laboratory man, I know, but... I, I suppose it's in the blood, but sport, or rather the exercise involved, is a subject of my research. You see, I'm jolly interested in how the body's energy might be regulated to lend strength to those muscles most taxed by a given action. I thank you for your kindness in relaying my dear sister's concern. Here, this should serve you in your good stead during your time in Arcades. Got ourselves a pine wood, wood chop, guys. I think that's the only one that we need here. How many are we up to, anyway? Uh, oh, I currently have 13. We need 15 more. Have not started iron banding yet? Pinnacle grinding is frustrating. Got four chest pieces. You don't usually play Grandmasters or Trials? Which way are we in? We are in Mulberry. Alright, Mulberry. Alright, who can we talk to? You. You're running around, you got something to say, right? You know, I'm often told I have a knack for magics. Of course, I have little coin to buy such things. I should be handling magics, not turnips. A knack for magic. See the swindler about? Not that you'd know if you did. He's a master of disguise. Why, he's dressed like me and walked off with my earnings. If I don't find him quick, I'm ruined. Finished. End of story. Ah, 
I can't go back to scratching for killing the old town. How do you imitate me so well? My Bo and I have been working together of late. We've got a tr quite a stack of shops to show for the troubles too. A full eight and twenty of them. I must tell them the good news. My husband was a judge, a fine one at that, filled with righteousness and justice. Our house is pride, the pride, too, of our borough. It was his very own sense of justice that brought his end, to die attempting to save a child's life, and the child of a foeman, no less. How like him. You don't focus on the challenges? Are you at least enjoying playing it, though? I tutored by trade, I am yet of late unemployed. Why? My pupils transferred to Pajama, leaving me to seek out a new charge. It's grown harder in recent years to pass the examinations, and I have utmost confidence in my ability to prepare any student. You know what I noticed about Arcades that I kind of like? Um, all of the NPCs here are talking about different things in their lives. They're not exclusively talking about the things that are happening in one life, one person. Like, you go to a town and everybody's talking about the same thing. And, uh, that's, kind of in that's kind of weird. I do so hate the post, but my Reginald is quite the brightest child. I post to confess his mother's wit. I imagine by surprise my dear Reginald's tutor decided to abandon us without saying a word. Quite irresponsible. Quite. Well, what a what a coincidence. We happen to have a tutor, right? Where the fuck you got? There he is. Ah, straight to the point. Leave it to me, good sir. A child under my care is a future academic. Here, a chop in, in payment for your kind word. There we go. We got it. That was really easy. It'll soon be my wedding anniversary. What else shall I give my dearest? That reminds me, I found the oddest thing. A fine necklace at the back of the wardrobe. Well, I can remember when I bought it. Well, no matter. I've sold the thing now. We live well enough, but it's hard to save. I need the, the guild to buy my dearest what he deserves. Hmm. I do so enjoy traveling, seeing the flora and fauna of faraway places. Save with those flora and fauna with fangs. Perhaps some armor is in order? Or so I thought, but did you know heavy armor leaves stripes and sores on one? And lumbering laden in metal does not a pleasant holiday make. The Traveler. My anniversary's coming up, see? Haven't got a lot of gill, but I still bought the missus something special. Can you guess what it is? A necklace. Of course, it's well hidden. I'm not stupid. I put it well back in the wardrobe, where she's not to find it. Uh, it's between you and me, right? Alright, well we know where she is. She's over here after having sold off this dude's necklace. Oh, oh. Is it you? There she is. What? He bought that necklace for me? As my anniversary present? Oh dear, oh dear, whatever shall I do? But first things first, I'll have to I'll have your silence on this, not a peep to him, not even a meaningful glance. I'll pay you what uh, not to speak. Are we agreed? Yay, we got another pine wood chop. Alright, where'd that traveler go? The machine gun feels really good to fire. You know, very rarely do I find a game where the machine gun feels good to fire. So, did you see the mummer? Did you? I truly despise his kind. Who would want to watch such rubbish? Can he possibly hope to glean enough kill by his prancing to serve, a, to survive or raise a family after all those years of training to end up impoverished? I don't know if I actually spoke to a traveling gentleman or woman look-alike. Talented woman. Ah, <sighs> my dear husband's mother has asked for a trinket from Giza Plains. She's ever so particular, though. I'm, so I'm having Giza craft and come here. Speaking of which, he should be here by now. My good husband's mother is a fickle woman. I do hope she does not change, uh, see fit to change her mind. Here in the capital, if you take pride in your work, you do right by your customers. Anyone can make a decent living. Now, your regular chops are made of pine, but the nobles use chops of sandal. Sweet smelling things, those. My girlfriend and I will get them someday. Very talked in. Oh, this guy actually made his rounds. He's already all the way over here now. Oh, here's the mummer. We'll talk to him in a few. We know he's easy to talk spot. Daughter-in-law. 
I am Chancellor at the Academy of Magic. Sadly, there is little need for our art in this age of ready convenience. Applicable numbers, applicant numbers are down. Indeed, the Academy itself feels maybe to blame for placing profit above the pursuit of quality and instruction. If not quality, what have we... Uh, well, wow, that sounds almost like a shot at real life. Oh, to be a judge, to bring order and peace to the world, and that just in a morning's work. Oh, to be, how does one become a judge anyway? I came all the way here from Giza to make some trinket, but I got separated from my guide on the road and couldn't find the client. There's no way I'll make it back on my own. Here, I thought my proportions were looking up. Oh, this woman is going to be steam about this. Okay, that can't be it. Uh, is this the traveling man over here? No, this is the lady. Did you see the mummer at his act? Oh, it was truly splendid. Maybe feel the spring, um, like, uh, feel the spring maiden again. Oh, how I'd love to show my daughter. Alright. Well, we know where this lady is, or at least a good idea where that lady was. There's somebody I missed, though. So we gotta find a traveling man. Family-minded woman was just down here. There we go. I told you, I detest the mummers. I'd soon watch the mating dance of the mob. What? My mother was weeping, reminiscing, no doubt. My father was a mummer, you see. He could never earn enough food to put on a table, try as he might. Eventually, it broke him. He fell ill and to buy a salve he borrowed, and he worked. And so he worked, though he was sick and made little. Yet how can not hope to repay aught? One day, a lord came calling, a man of means. He was, and he offered to take my father's debt on his own, provided my father left his wife. Then the lord turned and proposed marriage to my mother, for she was a rare beauty in her day. My father told her she should go with him. So was I torn, too, from my father. How I wept! I never saw him again, nor can I say where he is. I heard rumor he had moved far away, that is all. If he had not been so drunk with the mummer's life, it never would have come to that. So you see, I have reason to hate the prancing fools. Now I've spoken over much. My apologies, though. Tale told, I feel better. Please, take this chop for being so kind as to listen. Alright. Ah. Ha ha ha. Where'd it go? Oh, we know where this one is. This is to the lady standing over here, I'm certain. Talk to the judge's wife. There she is. Someone wanting to be a judge? Well, whoever they might be, I'll adv I have advice for them. If they seek to be a judge for the sake of justice, no good will come of it. Please tell them this. Please tell them that above all else, his family must come first. Peace is a frail bloom. That grows only in the soil of a family's love. I like how it gives me a pine wood chop, but I never actually relayed the advice back to the, the, the dude. Alright. Where the fuck is the ardent man? I don't remember. Tudor, the proud mother. Poor wife. Avid traveler. Poor husband, family-minded girl, look-alike, judge's wife, talented woman, we're looking for an ardent man. As you can see, these uh, these can take a little bit to find everyone, because the NPCs do move around like bastards. Bastards. There he is. Here in the capital, if you take pride in your work... What's that? Eight and twenty chops already? That's a fine amount to be sure, but tell her this. Try to float up to the high garden and you'll drift down off of the clouds. First get firm footing down here, then build your way up, brick by brick. I'm not telling her that. You already gave me what I wanted. A traveling mummer taught me this one. He used to live here in the city, so he said. Daughter-in-law, academician, look-alike. Uh, 
Alright, so we got the Master of Disguise one. We know where this guy kind of hangs out. He's usually right around here somewhere. But he seems to try. There he is. Are you utterly daft? The one who's looking for the swindler is the swindler, don't you see? Says the oldest trick in the grimoire, my boy. What's that? He's still nearby? Good. Time to put an end to this one and for all. Don't worry. You'll have my gratitude and a bit in your pocket. At least he still had his pine wood chop. Alright. So we got the mummer. Uh, trinket from Giza. Where is the daughter-in-law? She was just up here. There we go. He's right here, I think. Oops. I'm, I clicked through that too fast. Sorry, guys. Uh, the Master of Disguises were done. To be a judge done. A knack for magic. Let's go back and talk to Talented Woman. And then we just have to figure out where the Traveled Man is. Poor husband. You came for a bag of chips that someone promised you. Who did that? Was it Silly? Did Silly promise chips again? Silly, what have I told you about that? Alright, I still haven't seen a traveling gentleman. Is it this dude? Oh, well, that's the would-be judge. Hmm? Alas, with a knack for magic, no, no guild to pay for it? How fortunate for her. I was thinking of setting a program for scholars in need. Of course, there will be an examination, but if she truly does have the knack, that should be of little trouble. Here, a chop for your information. Are you the traveling man? No, you're the man from Giza. Look alike. Reminiscing lady. Katie and Gentry. There he is! Travel? My work is taking me far and wide. Why? I'm on the road for six months a year. Danger? Near misses? Daily affairs. Of course, I take care of wear the proper protectives, and my sword arm is good enough to hold off your average fell beast. Okay, so. You gotta go all the way over to the other side of this area. It's actually good that we're doing this now because I don't know if it becomes unavailable later. And we need it to do a side quest after the Dracula Laboratory. And trust me, the one after the Dracula Laboratory is actually really worth doing. Alright. So, we'll travel over here. Back all the way up here to talk to that dude we just talked to, and I no longer remember what he looks like. Oh, it was this guy, okay. A woman traveler concerned about armor, you'd say. Certainly, heavy armor is just that, heavy, but I'd weigh more about beasts than bruises. Me, I find my greatest foe on the road is solitude. You say this lady you spoke to enjoys traveling? Perhaps she might uh, arrange a meeting. Why, if I could find someone on the, of the feminine persuasion to pers share my travels, that'd solve all my woes, and perhaps I could solve hers. Alright, well there you go. We just became a matchmaker. Alright, we have one more area to do this in, and... Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. Alright, so this last area is called Trant, if my map is correct. Biggie! Have you played Destiny, Biggie? We got Faye and, um... Uh, Faye and, uh, Vector in chat here who loves it. I've been, it's been five years since I finally quit my old lo lo my lodgings in Old Arcadia, since I still act, lack the guild to open a boutique of my own.
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, dear. I asked my daughter to buy tickets to the farce, but I've asked her to buy one too few. What to do? I, I, I too entertain a most important client. Well, whatever. Girl on an errand. We'll just pick them up as we come across them. I've worked so hard and so long, all for money. In indeed, I've accumulated some wealth. Yet I realize I ne I want neither money nor power. Both I I've had, and neither satisfied me. I found what I wanted when I met her, a client's daughter. i the moment I saw her, I knew. Okay. What kind of auto are you looking for? You generally like adaptive frames. You like high clip, re fast reload guns? You tried Destiny. Not a game that hooked your attention for long, though. That's okay. The fact is that you gave it a try before deciding that, Biggie. How many years have I trained and still they mock my designs? Tradition. Tradition. Fee. What good building art that is already built. Alright. There are those who make crafts and sell them at market. I make not crafts, but music. My, but my lute's soothing voice do I earn my daily bread. There was a time when I did quite well by it too, sadly. People nowadays seem to enjoy cacophonous marches. Few have an ear for the lute's quiet song. What is this? McRaunchy! With the gift! Okay. So. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello, thank you for watching. We're back. McRaunchy, that was super generous. I really appreciate it. Uh, we are now looking for some lady. Lawn clippings are lime forever. The population of this great city continues to soar and buildings spread like toadstools after the rain in this unruly garden of Arcades. My consortium too is in the business of building, yet frankly, popular design gives me indigestion. Oh, for a man who's both architect and artisan. Okay, I'm pretty sure we knew where this guy was. There he is. Whew. Gotta go teach? Okay, Faye, we'll be here when you get back. Ah, boy, my business, it is customary to thank those who find this work. A chop for your troubles. Alright, might as well talk to this dude again and pick up his, uh, his tail. Alright, we got this lady. A girl on an errand. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I was asked to buy my mother, uh, by my mother to buy tickets to the farce. Yet I was, I bought too many, one too many. Oh, my mother despises ways. I shall be punished for sure. Alright, so that's actually someone we do need to talk to, but not the one we're looking for at this time. I was born of empire, raised by empire, and within her walls did I grow old. Yet this city was not always grand, nor the empire always prosperous. Used today, they know not, oh, they known only of her glory and nothing of her history. How little they think of the sacrifices of the past, it troubles me. We'll come back to that. Money is like to a seed, do you not agree? Keep it locked away, it is something dead, yet use it poorly and it will never live. There will must be someone with the use for my money, but I would have it live, and if I could find the hands to tend it, I would surely gladly share its fruit. It's an interesting metaphor. Yeah, that's not it. We're looking for a lady. Is this a lady? I'm an elderly friend, a court musician by trade. You hear him play the lute, you would think it sang, yet of late his fingers fail him. He said he wanted to hear the song he used to play, so I seek a lutenist to play for him. Yet they seem to rare bread these days. I actually know where that one is too. But. Okay, that's not her. Forest goer. Where the hell is the smitten woman? He's oops. 
I need, I, okay, so I know where they, most of these people are, it's just the one person I can't seem to find. And that's the smitten woman. I'm having trouble putting uh, a man I met, a business associate of my father, from my mind. He was so dashing, so mysterious. Of course, I'm certain a gentleman of his means would be a fine, affianced at the very least. Of course he would. What? He said that about me? For true? Are you... Is he sure? Perhaps he meant another. If it is truly me he asked after, I certainly accept. I do believe I'm overjoyed. Look, I'm not much. It's not much, but I've been saving this chop for a special occasion. And, well, take it. It's yours. You got the catalyst for Traveler's Chosen, though, so you're not hurting for a new sidearm. Uh, a good roll on the vision. So, when you say good roll, does that mean you've you got good stats on it? Alright, so we actually spoke to this guy over here. Well, we live in an empire, but t'was not always so. How did it come to be? Military might? Wise rule? No. It must take more than these things. How can we hope to carry the empire's glory into the future if we know not our past? Yet our, ac academy, our academies teach us little of our true nature, our true history. What's that? You have an acquaintance who knows much of history? How long I've sought for this! Thank you, good sir. Thank you. Please accept this chop. For the glory of the empire! Alright. We're almost done, guys. We now have a few more left to get, but I actually know where they all are. Well, at least three of them. So this one wanted the money lending guy. He is over here. Unless, of course, he's moved. That is definitely a possibility. Hmm, a lady wishing to open a boutique, you say? This bears further inquiry. I would meet with her. Who knows where our discussion might lead? Such meetings are fertile soil for enterprise. Here, a chop for your aid. They also have special abilities in addition to those. So, uh, some come with choice of more than one ability. You always get at least two. You know what? It makes me sad. Outriders. That was a lot of fun to play, and yet... They keep posting, like, these updates with, uh, bug fixes and stuff, which are great! I'm glad they're fixing bugs, but they provided no update on whether they're gonna add anything to the game. Someone will see salutinist? You sure? How long I've waited! I would love nothing more than to play my, to an appreciative listener. I thank you for this, good sir. Here, a chop bearing the mark of the loot. It is yours. Little did I know that chop is now uh, is not uh, is not useful since uh, he put the mark of the loot on it. And now we got to go down here, and I think this is the last one. Unless I missed one. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, my. Oh, she needed one more ticket for the first? Then Lady Luck has smiled upon me. This is better than any amusement. A chop for your trouble. Okay, so I have... 28. Okay, that's all we need. So, we're gonna stop by a shop and, uh... Within said shop, we are going to turn in. Our item for a sandalwood shop. Uh, I'll just stop into the weapon shop. A weapon shop to get a chop. Some come with a choice of more than one ability. You always get at least two though. Okay. So, how do you re-roll them? Do you have to just get a new version of the weapon, or is there a, uh, a way you can pay to have it re-rolled, or... Items you have to use to, uh, re-roll it? Okay. I guess that adds, uh, replayability to some of the raids. Very well, here's your sandalwood chop. We did it, guys. Congratulations on getting your sandalwood. These des this designates you as a most promising ardent. Why, you might even make gentry one day. Those with sandalwood may ride cabs and get into central. 
Best of luck to you. Alright. So apparently we need that for uh, a quest that we're going to be doing later. Which is pretty exciting. Is that a sandalwood shop I see? Very well, this cab is for Snowball, good sir. Take me to Snowball. 